Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be going over a problem from the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test. We want to know how many real solutions x are there to the following equation. We've got log base 2 of 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 3 log base 2 of x plus 1 plus 1. Um, so this question here is essentially just testing, do we know our log identities? First thing we're going to do is bring this 3 upstairs here. So this is going to be log base 2 of x plus 1 and cubed. And then this plus one here, well, it would be lovely if all of these terms here were written in terms of a logarithm. So we're going to write that as log base two of two. Cool. Well, we can group these two terms together. And so our right hand side here is just going to become log base two of two lots of x plus one cubed. And now I can just cancel these log base twos on both sides. So I get two x cubed plus seven x squared plus two x plus three equals two times x plus one cubed. But if I expand that out, that's 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 6x plus 2. Great, now we've just got an equation which we can bring everything onto one side for and see if that simplifies nicely. Well, these 2x cubes will cancel out. That's lovely. The x squareds, well, if I bring them all to the left, 7x, mi 7x squared minus 6x squared is just x squared. 2x minus 6x, that's minus 4x. 3 minus 2, that's plus 1. And that equals 0. And now we, it's just a quadratic. We can solve this however we want. Uh, I'm just going to skip to the solution here. You're going to get x is 2 plus or minus root 3. So we have two real solutions x for this quadratic. So x is 2 plus root 3 or x is 2 minus root 3. So you might just answer c straight away. But technically, we should just be a bit careful and make sure that both of these are indeed valid solutions, especially since we were dealing with logarithms. Uh, 2 plus root 3, that's positive. That's fine. 2 minus root 3, well, that's also positive because root 3 is less than 2. But we should just check that that still means that our initial logarithms were fine. Like, remember, the input of a logarithm has to be a positive number. And in both these cases, since x is positive, this thing here is clearly going to be positive, And x plus 1 is also going to be positive. So we don't have to worry about any undefined logarithm. So the answer is, in fact, 2. If you have enjoyed this and want to see more videos like this, please do hit the subscribe button down below. It's free. It's a way to support the channel. And if later down the line you choose not to watch my content anymore, you can always unsubscribe. But then thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.